Hello again. Uh, today, we're on the heels of the 2.0 release, so I'm releasing some short videos to kind of show you some of the new functionality uh, that's in version 2.0 of the product. And specifically in this video, I'm going to show you users and roles, uh, which we added in this version. So the ability to have multiple users and restrict what they can do, as well as auditing as part of uh, CFR 2111 compliance uh, in pharmaceuticals and, and batch. So uh, nothing crazy, right? But cool, cool features uh, that we can run through quick. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to launch the product. So I've got uh, just the installer here locally, and I'm going to launch Highbyte. One big change in this version is you no longer need a web server separate to host the configuration. So as this fires up, uh, all I'm going to have to do is go to localhost 45245, the default port for the product, and bam, we're in. You can still use a web server in production if you, if you choose. Uh, if not, uh, you will host it for you. So right now I just have the default admin user like before, so I'm going to log in. And what you'll notice new in this version is we have this admin tab. And under here we have users, roles, and certificates. Uh, so the ability to manage certs as well. So by default we have an uh, administrator user. And so the user has a password, right? And I could create additional users if I wanted to. And then users also have roles. So if I jump into roles, I've got uh, some roles two defined out of the box, admin and default, and then these have claims, and claims really control what you can do. So if I look at the admin role, uh, there's a helper here that kind of explains this, and we'll have it in the user guide. But this asterisk basically means the administrator can do everything, right? They have open access to the system. But if I go to the default role, for example, this is formatted as the resource and then the action. <clears throat> so for any resource I can read, for instances, I can uh, do anything. I can create, edit, uh, update, and the action is CRUD method. So create, read, update, delete. Uh, and connections, I can do anything. Flows, I can do anything, but models, uh, I'm not allowed to touch. And the idea is you might want IT to be able to define your models, and then the controls engineers or the folks in the factory floor can create instances of those models and wire them up, but they can't change the actual model definition. So you can put restrictions around that. So let me show you real quick. I'll create a user. I'll call him Aaron. Super secret password. And right now I'll give him, I created this controls engineer role. I'll give him that. I can also insert claims directly in the user if I want, right? So this would, uh, basically all the claims get condensed, uh, put together. And then if when you go to do the action, if you have any claim that meets the requirement, uh, it's allowed through, but I'm not going to have any user level claims for this. <clears throat> so I've got my user, and if I go back and look at the controls engineer role, right now I, I'm allowed to read anything, and I can create um, an update connection. So I'm actually going to remove the update connections, and I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to log out, and I'm going to log in as my new user. So I have read access to everything. So I can access the system. Uh, I can look at roles, users, all, all that stuff. But what I, if I want to edit something, like say I go in and I want to edit um, an existing connection, let's say I change the port number. I'll get this user's, user does not have the rights to do this operation. This is because I can't currently edit connections as part of my role. So it really allows you to slice and dice and control uh, what the user has access to. And again, this is it's detailed a little more in the user guide, specifically the claims, uh, the types of claims we support, the types of resources. But just kind of a teaser to show you that it's there. And in version 2.1 of the product, we're actually working on this now. We're going to tie into third-party identification systems like over SAML and OpenID. So we'll take the credentials. Those credentials will be entered in your SAML or OpenID system. And then we'll get a rollback by name. Right, and that role you'll define in Highbyte to say, hey, this user is a controls engineer, and in Highbyte you can control <clears throat> what that user has uh, access to. So we'll have that integration uh, pretty soon. But right now, all the users and, and names in 2.0 are local. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you quick is auditing. So inside the, the application directory, we have a settings file. And if you open this up, I copy these over from the template file that's in there that has all the defaults so you can oops, right here so you can see them but by default we have this log audit events and it's off but if we turn this on 
And then uh, currently you just have to uh, restart the runtime. So I'm going to shut it down and start it back up. What this will do is with the logged in user, it'll, it'll log, create, uh, update, and delete events to tell you what, what changes have happened to the system. So with that on, <clears throat> I'm going to log in. Let's see, I think I'm an administrator. So I'm logged in as an administrator. If I go in and change the description, uh, change this to local server, and hit save, and you go to the logs, you'll see user administrator updated connection OBC, description change from uh, new description to local server. So we'll, you know, and if I create a new connection, like for example, if I clone this one, and I go into log, again, you'll see user created a new connection. You know, if I go into flows and, and turn off a flow, you'll see uh, user enabled change, uh, updated the flow, enabled was changed from true to false. So basically the flow was, was turned off and also get events for when users log in and, and log out. So that's the, the start of, we're not fully uh, CFR 2111 compliant as of this 2.0 version, but that's that's one of the big lifts uh, to get there. And we have a few more things we want to do in future versions, but I wanted to show you that auditing capability. It's off by default, but you can easily turn that on and see what users have done uh, to the system. So that's it, quick teaser video on users and roles and also auditing and uh, you know, cool functionality we've added to the product as it matures uh, and, and is used more in enterprise environments. So we're excited to see that used and uh, stay tuned for more.